Plaatsing voor het Amerikaanse World Cup team is stap 1 op weg naar de Olympische dubbel. De bedenker van het strijdplan houdt alles nauwlettend in de gaten. I do all the scheduling and stuff. I just tell him where to go. So, you know, where to train and you know where to what competition he has to go to. So he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to worry about any of that. I don't rely on coaches or anything. I find out myself. I'm saying this is the bottom line. Because you might not know this. You know, I know all. Right. He's supposed to got to be three people who stay right, right now. Right. Did you know that? Yes, okay. I know. Because three of them are qualified already. Right. And there's one spot to go. Right. Okay. So it has to be three people. Right. We're going to win it. Well, I don't know. You don't have to tell right. them that. Okay. That's... No, no. Okay. We got to win it. Oh, okay. We got to win it. That's no, what. Win it. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the bottom line. Al snel is duidelijk dat Davis totaal geen problemen heeft met de overstap van short track naar lange baanschaatsen. Moeder is tevreden en op de tribune zien we ineens zijn vader. Sinds kort hebben ze weer contact. Hey, Shawnee man, nice job. Thank you. I see you made it up okay. Oh yeah, by myself. How's little Lakeo doing? They're doing good. Oh my dad, he never put me first. My mom always put me first. Even to this day, she still puts me first. But my dad always would put me like, you know, second or third or fourth. Every once in a while, he'll put me first, but it wasn't very often. But uh, you know, he's just a different. Human being than my mother, you know, no one's perfect. Does he have the skating abilities uh, from your side or from his mother? No, no doubt he got it from my side. <laughs> oh, don't, don't let mama hear that. <laughs> don't let mom hear it. She always kept my dreams and goals in mind, whereas my dad kept more so his in mind. But you know, he's he's human, you know, and I learned a lot from him because when I when I have children someday, hopefully I I won't be too caught up in myself to do what's right for the children. For the child. Come on, come on, Shawnee! Come on, get it going, get it going, get it going! Right at him! 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 Right at him. Come on, Shawnee! De selectiewedstrijden verlopen heel goed. Shawnee plaatst zich voor alle World Cup afstanden. Hij rijdt baanrecords op de 1500 en de 1000 meter. I told you we was gonna be wanting. Yes. Vooral op de kilometer deelt hij een enorme tik uit. Alles verloopt volgens plan. Dan de World Cups. De opdracht is zoveel mogelijk winnen. Johnny Davis is veel in Calgary te vinden en is een fenomeen. Very good, very good. 
even. Shani Davis. De toon is wel gezet hoor. De concurrenten hebben pijn na de verpletterende 1500 meter van Davis. De winnaar zelf fietst op zijn dode gemak naar huis. I live in Calgary because I, I feel it's the best place for me to um, train both, both the short track and long track, you know. I can skate, you know, short track every day of the week, three or four times a week. I mean, uh, more than, like maybe six or seven times a week, twice in one day if I wanted to. Just skate, work on technique. And then after that, when I'm tired of this short track, I get on the, these bad boys here. My long track skates, and I skate away. All the frustrations of short track. And then when I start skating really bad long track, and I, I don't feel like I'm getting my good corner, I feel like I'm getting these little steps, I'm getting these real tiny steps in the corner, I put them away, and I go right back to short track. Then I work on that big push, big, big straight away, uh, crossovers. And you only can get that from skating with this. Come here. This is Sheba. It's a, she's five months old, I think. Maybe in a couple years, maybe by 2010, the snake would be three-fourths of my size. The snake can grow four to five feet. 